All right, folks, welcome back to the channel. There has been another big update released from FR Sky. This is aside from the nightly updates that I talked about in my last video for the X-Lite Pro. Um, there's a few new things in this update that I've never seen before. They're actually issuing new firmware for the power management unit in this radio, which is supposed to address issues with external modules like the R9, all the multi-protocol modules, and it might even possibly affect the Crossfire modules, which have been reported to be having issues because of low power output. So that's being addressed in this update, along with another RF update, allowing you to bind this with old school D16 uh, ACCST receivers, not the access stuff. And it allows you to use their own R9M light module. What a crazy idea, letting us use their own equipment with their own radios. So let's go through the update process on this. It's gonna be very much like my last couple videos on a few different changes. Um, also, if you hear a humming sound in the background, I'm sorry about that. That's my air conditioning unit. It is unbelievably hot here. And yeah, I'm not gonna sweat through this. Okay, so first things first, we need to go to the FR Sky website. Come over here to download. Tyrannus x -Lite Pro. Go to firmware, and this is the one we flashed last time. Then we did some nightlies, and now this one came out, um, I believe, yesterday? No, today. All right. So we're going to hit download. Go ahead and download this uh, compressed file and uncompress it to a folder that, uh, that you know where it's at. And I believe this is probably going to be the same, same process for the X9 Lite. Let's see if they've got the firmware changes in here. Yeah, actually this this should be the same process for the X uh, Tyrannus X9 Lite. Don't quote me on that, but this should get you there. All right, so next thing we need to do is extract that file. And I have it extracted to here. Go ahead and turn on your X Lite Pro. And connect it to your computer via a USB cord and make sure you select USB storage. All right, so we don't need this one, the one that has EEPROM firmware and firmware. We can close that. We don't want to mess with that. So, in our SD card contents, go into firmware and in our files that we downloaded, we're going to take the PMU and the RF folder. Let's go ahead and copy this to our SD card. All right, now that that's copied, go ahead and disconnect your X-Lite and turn it off. All right, now that it's off and still off, go ahead and reconnect it. And we're going to need to open up OpenTX Companion. And if you don't have OpenTX Companion, just Google it and go ahead and download and install it. All right, we have OpenTX Companion up. And we're going to go over here on the left-hand side. And we're going to find this red down arrow that says Write Firmware to Radio. Go ahead and click that, load, and go find your folder that you copied your files to. And it's going to be this file, the BIN file, should end in 190605. And open that. And you should get this window here. And we want to make sure we check, check hardware compatibility. And with our XLite Pro connected and still turned off, go ahead and click Write to TX. And this is updating the firmware on the X-Lite. This is not a nightly. This should be a full-fledged firmware version. All right. Go ahead and hit close. Close your OpenTX companion and go ahead and disconnect your radio. Okay, so we've written our new version of OpenTX to this. Let's go ahead and turn it on. Welcome to 
to open TX. You notice we don't get the warning for the nightly builds. Eh, font looks a little different. Okay, so now we're going to hold to the left. And we're in our systems menu. So we'll go to the right to SD card. Come down to firmware. And we're going to need to find that PMU folder that we wrote. Go in there and long hold on the PMU.FRSK. It's going to say Flash Power Management Unit. Go ahead and select that. There we go. That was pretty quick. All right, now let's go back and go to that RF folder that we wrote. And long press on that and Flash Internal Module. And there we go. That's it. That's the entire process. Everything should be good to go from this point. We can go through and check some of our firmwares. So there's our, bur our build date for OpenTX. There's a version of our internal module. So now we have a menu in our internal RF, we have we still have the old access or the new access, and now we have the the old version, the ACCST D16. So now let's see if this actually works. Unfortunately, after messing with thing, this thing for a little while, I still can't get D16 mode to work. Um, I've got an RXSR in this thing. And I know, I know the receiver works because it works well with my Nirvana. It's just, it just still doesn't work. I don't know if I'm doing something wrong uh, or what. But anyways, that's, that's the process. So, I mean, if they upload newer firmware, at least you can you know, use this tutorial. Uh, if this works for you guys, let me know. Let me know what you did differently. I don't, I don't know what changed here. Oh, uh, something else to note that you do have um, R9M light uh, access for your external RF, but you lose your multi protocol from the nightlies. So, not really sure what to make of this. Uh, I know this is kind of a a lackluster video it's kind of short and really doesn't I don't know, really doesn't do anything for anybody but perhaps that will make the nightly builds a little bit more reliable oh well and at least at this point i think i'm going to go back to the nightlies and keep working with it until another update comes out all right if you guys like what i'm doing here please like subscribe click that uh bell icon if you want to be notified of videos like this when videos like this come out um, let me know what your experience is with this. If, if you've got D16 mode working with the uh, actual FR Sky firmware that came out with this, for this thing today. Uh, all right, guys. Well, uh, we'll continue the saga a little later, but, you know, this is, this is my daily driver, and there's a reason for it. But that's another video for another day. All right, we'll talk to you guys later.